I wish people would stop watching Spraggles videos. I would say Spraggles videos, but what are you gonna do? Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and I thought this was pretty fun, so I wanted to share it with you and give you my thoughts. I saw this tweet from Peace Though on Twitter, who is another Unite YouTuber and streamer, and he says, apparently watching Spraggles videos makes you bad at the game. So I was like, all right, what's going on here exactly? This is a clip we see Peace playing Zacian in the top path, we see the bottom path, Bulbasaur running back down to the bottom path there. Looks like they got KO'd against an Azu and might be Umbreon. And uh, then we hear this. Wish people would stop watching these Spraggle videos. So he says, I wish people would stop watching Spraggle's videos. Spraggle's. Uh, enemies already level 7 because Jungler decided to sell and go top. Oh. Says, come on, buddy. Hmm. Are you gonna Stop come down there? Stop watching Spragos. Are you what? gonna come down here? Or you're just gonna let him break our goal. So I'm gonna let this play again while I talk about this a little bit. First of all, uh, let's just take a look at our match right here. We've got Zacian, Mewtwo top. Mewtwo could be the jungler for their team. I believe that they are. And it looks like Zacian is up here in the top path, I think, with Slowbro. So this is a strong lane here in our top path. Yeah, Slowbro's there with Surf. Looks like Mewtwo is the center area there. And in the bottom path, we have Venusaur and Rowlet. And they're first off, they're saying, I wish they would stop watching Spraggle's videos so that they would come bottom. Uh... I don't know at what point ever have I said don't go bottom, only go top with your jungle gank. I've never said that ever. Uh, I think you should go to the lane you're going to provide the most value for your team in. Oftentimes that's going to be the lane where the enemies are easier to gank and your lane is stronger. So in this situation, I very well may recommend going to this top path so that you can win this path and get a big advantage. Oftentimes inside of Pokemon Unite, you are spending time trying to find the most value for your team. Rather than shoring up your weaknesses in Pokemon Unite, you're often leaning into your strengths. It's more valuable most of the time for you to take your Pokemon that are carries and high level and continue to accelerate them into higher and higher levels rather than look for opportunities to shore up very, very weak lanes. For instance, Rowlet and Venusaur. Okay, a few things. So Rowlet and uh, Bulbasaur down there in the bottom path. If you see that you are Rowlet and Bulbasaur, uh, you need to know to play that lane accordingly. So what I mean by that is you recognize that you're not necessarily a terrible lane, but you're not a very strong lane. You don't have really, really strong laners like Slowbro, Ninetales, Mamoswine, things like this that are really solid. You're two attackers, you're ranged, which gives you some advantage. You both have a decent secure move, but you can't really go toe to toe with a lot of the bulkier things inside the game. That was a decision made by these players heading on into that match. When you're in a lane like that, you have to know that you are a weak lane. Now, depending on what you're going up against, you could be in an advantageous position you could be in a very disadvantageous position you could be running in to a very very strong lane on the other side and you're going to need to figure out how to play around it for instance does your enemy have inteleon who has insane secure do they have lapras that can get right into your face and really not take enough damage from you if that's the case you're going to need to play this lane not passively but not super aggressively so you're going to need to play your lane in a manner where you're trying to secure last hits out secure your opponents while at the same time not putting yourself in a position to get KO'd. That's one of the first things you need to figure out. If you're in the bottom path and you're a Cinderace and you get ganked and you get absolutely demolished, well, yeah, that's about what's gonna happen to you inside of Pokemon Unite. You're a weak laner in a weak with a weak ally inside of your lane and the enemy jungle comes to you. Now, this is a concept that for some reason, a lot of players can't seem to grasp. There's only one lane a jungler can go to. I know you always want it to be your lane, you want your ally to go there, and you want your enemy jungler to go to the other lane. The funny thing that I think always happens is people 
they have such a narrow view about what's going on inside of a match. If your jungler is in the other lane, you're hoping that they are providing value for your team in the other lane. If the enemy jungler is in your lane, you're hoping you're going to do everything you can to not give up a ton of value to the opposing team. But there's only one lane that they can go to. They can't run back and forth between both lanes super effectively while making great plays for your team. You have to recognize that. And when you see that your jungler is not going to your lane and you don't yet know where the enemy jungler is, you're in a dangerous position and you need to play your lane accordingly. There's never been a moment where I've said, don't help your lane or anything like that. However, looking at this clip, maybe this person is right because their lane is not good. It looks like they're not doing well already before the enemy jungler shows up. It looks like they're not doing that well. And I think their team is recognizing I can get a lot of value in the top lane. I can probably get a multi KO. We can all score. Whereas if I go down to the bottom lane, my team is already losing. They are already getting KO'd. We are facing off against a situation where if I show up, one of one of my allies is already KO'd, we already have a man disadvantage. So in general, it's probably true that, well, first off, their ally could have just said, I, I the last buff I got was red and I'm just walking top. But it's probably true that the better play is to go to the top lane and win that lane. There are lots of situations where you could go bottom, you could fight the enemies, but Without question, you're going to want to figure out a way to give your team an advantage. You're not looking to find stalemates across the board. You're looking to push advantages and win. Push advantages and win lanes. You want to make sure that Peace, the Zashian that is in this top path, gets powered up and gets really, really strong because they're an amazing carry. You absolutely want to help Bulbasaur and Decidueye down there in the bottom path but at the same time pushing an advantage is extremely important in any game like this you want to go to the strong side and you want to win you want to find opportunities to win you don't want to start putting a rocky helmet and a focus band on your greninja you want to put attack items you want to lean in to what your pokemon is good at and inside of a match you want to lean into your advantages now in general, I just want to talk about top and bottom path here really quick. I've always said, except for the brief period when uh, Thea Sky Ruins was different and score mattered a lot because Rayquaza wasn't going down, I have almost always said that bottom path is the better path. It's the better path to win because it gives you access to the bottom Reggie, previously Dreadnought, and that gives you access to team-wide XP that you really don't have to do anything for. Reggie Alecki can sometimes provide great value, sometimes provide no value. Bottom path always provides consistent value. I have always recommended bottom path. I think the biggest thing that you are seeing inside this video is a lane that is bad, that is losing their lane and expecting someone else to solve their problem for you. Your jungler can only go to one lane. Maybe they picked the wrong lane. So be it. You, you saw them. You saw where they were going. You need to react accordingly as the Bulbasaur and as the Rowlet in this moment. You have to react accordingly to what's going on inside the game. You can't just whine and say that you wish your jungler was down there. Well, I guess you can. You can, you can whine if you want. You can whine all you want. You can get on voice comms out loud and complain about me who has nothing to do with this situation. Uh, you can do that all you want. But if you want to become better at the game, you just have to have the awareness of what's happening in the match. You are a weak lane. The enemy probably sees that and sees that it is a very tasty lane to gank. And your ally may or may not notice that and want to support you. And it also may just see that it can do a really great job in the top path. And that's where it wants to push its advantage. I think it's extremely important to notice things like that. Pay attention to your mini map. Pay attention to where your ally is going. If your ally is pushing towards the top path, you're in the bottom path in this situation, you need to recognize that. You have to recognize they are going there, they're not coming to you, you need to play your lane safer, especially when you don't know when the where the enemy jungler is, and especially when, as it looks like, you've been losing your path already. You have two attackers in the bottom path and you're losing. It's unfortunate, these are the Pokemon you picked, 
and that is what is happening inside this game. You you can get upset at everybody, you can get upset at your jungler, you can get upset at this figure, which is me, and use one of your wishes, by the way. He says, I wish people would stop watching Spriggle's videos. Pretty crazy. You only get three of those from a genie. If you use one to make sure people don't watch YouTube videos, you're kind of crazy. I wish people would stop watching Spriggle's videos, he says Spriggle's, because uh, I'm convincing people to not go to his lane. Literally, <laughs> instead of figuring out how to get better at the game, he wishes someone, this Mewtwo, I don't know how many Mewtwo players are checking out my content, this Mewtwo didn't watch my video because surely that Mewtwo at some point saw a video where I said you can only go top and that's where he's gone. Instead of focusing on what you could do to get better at Pokemon Unite, you are spending your time shaking your fist at the sky and this uh, unfortunate uh, Spraggles plan to not gank your lane. No, dude. In the nicest way possible, get better. Make better decisions. It's not because of a YouTube video. You're a weak lane. Figure out what's going on down there and also recognize when you're playing a weak lane like that, it's very possible things are going to go bad for you. And it's not up to everyone else to save you. Start making better choices. That's what I think. And also, stop watching Spraggle's videos. That guy never wants you to go top or bottom. He, he always says go Reggie Alecky. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. We did it.